Yeah, you read that correctly. I have been arrested and spent the night in jail two times when I was 19 and when I was 22. And guys, this is just the start of my failures. Uh, my first company, a tailored suit, I started it. Not only did I fail with it, I took it into bankruptcy. Before that, my first job out of business school, I was fired within three months. In the United States Marine Corps, I started off with a naval aviator contract, made it two years through flight school, and I failed out. Blew out my sinuses, boom, no more. Guys, I if I look back, I have failed again and again and again. When I went to undergrad, my GPA was a 2.9 when I graduated. I mean, I was drinking and partying and having way too much fun and I consistently fell on my face. Now, why am I telling you all this information, guys? Because I think it's important that you understand that failure does not define you. It's what we do after we fall down and how we pick ourselves back up. So those couple times I got arrested, spent the night in jail, public intox, I was just partying too hard. I was having too much fun. I was running from the police, uh, being underage, and the second time climbing buildings. Yeah, I was being stupid. So you know what I realized? I probably got a drinking problem and I stopped drinking. And I can't tell you, that has just changed my life, that I really don't spend money on alcohol. I don't get suckered into going out and drinking with my friends. I mean, I understand that there is value there and I do still hang out with my friends. I just choose now to be the sober driver. With business school, um, I went back to school, had a 2.9 GPA, but I scored really high on the GMAT that got me in to the University of Texas uh, because I practiced for that GMAT. And I didn't drink throughout you know, going through business school. Guess what? I had almost a perfect GPA because I studied and I applied myself. After my business failure with the tailored suit, I created what you have found here right now, Real Men Real Style, which is now reaching millions of men and is a million dollar company that is very profitable and helps me, you know, just, it's amazing what you can do when you pick yourself up. But here's the deal, is that I wouldn't have been able to pick up myself is it, if it wasn't for my friends and my family, the people that I've surrounded myself with, who I have become, you become the average, the people you surround yourself with. And if you don't have a network, if you don't have a group of people that you can surround yourself with, that you can draw strength from when you're at your lowest point, guys, it's going to be a tough life for you. And I really advise you, go out there, build your network. And I'm not, network sounds bad. Have real friends, friends that will stand by you that, you know, when it comes down to it, they will, I mean, they will be at your funeral and they will see you off. I mean, that's the kind of people that you want to have around you. And guys, if you're, if you don't have those kind of people, you're looking for those kind of people, let's say you're a busy business owner or you're a creator and you're like, this is a lonely path, Antonio. How do you get peers? Guys, that's why I created Menfluential. This is my conference in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm linking to it down in the description. This conference, it happens every year in February, this year, the 22nd and 23rd. But I can tell you, this is a life-changing event. I created it. I call it a conference. It's more like a party because I wanted all of my friends, all these people I, were, I was meeting around the world, I wanted to bring them to one place so that I could spend time with them. Very selfishly, I didn't want to travel and neither did Aaron Marino, my business partner on this. We just simply wanted to bring the party to us. And that's exactly what we do at Menfluence. It's a, it's a life-changing event and I can't stress this enough. And again, uh, if you're, let's say you can't come out to Atlanta, guys, we've got a virtual ticket. I, I almost forgot about this, a virtual ticket so you can simply watch this live as we're doing it. Again, I'm linking to Menfluential down in the description. Go check out that virtual ticket. And I encourage, if you're over in India, if you're over in South Africa, you're over in London, I understand you maybe can't travel out for this. Maybe you're not able to get a visa to come to the United States. So grab a virtual ticket and have a few friends over because we're setting this up so that if you have at least three people viewing that while we're actually doing this, I'm going to put you guys up on screen. I'm actually going to bring over Jose, Aaron Marino, all, all these guys that you are following across the men's lifestyle space, I want them to come over and actually interact directly with you and the group that you've got right there. Whether, you know, this could be, you could be over in, in Pakistan, you could be over, I, I don't know, <laughs> Nepal, you could be in China, you could be wherever you're at in the world. I want you to be able to interact with us and for you to feel like you're there at Menfluential. And again, you can be in the United States, South America, wherever you are, I want Menfluential to, uh, to be there for you. So, and if you want to hear more, I, I don't know, you guys curious about, yes. Uh, so I, uh, I was a bit of a partier. I, I definitely had a lot of fun. I'm looking, uh, 
you know, the Marine Corps, you know, what did I get out of failing out of flight school? I actually went into the infantry, uh, spent with time with 3rd Battalion, 1st Marines, really transformed myself into a better leader. Every time I fell down, I picked myself up. I just was, I, had, I was lucky enough to have some great mentors, lucky enough to be around people that cared to, to help lift me up and to take me to new heights. So guys, that's why I created this conference. And, uh, you know, if this video was finding you in a tough spot, in a rough patch, uh, just know that there are people out there that do care about you. Find them and keep them close because I can tell you that it is just a very powerful thing when you surround yourself with the right people. That's it, guys. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.